Uh, back to Heineken Cup this weekend. Um, obviously, you played them already, a narrow defeat. What did you learn from that match that's going to come in good service at the weekend? Um, to be honest, it's quite a long time ago now. There's a, we've put in a lot of good performances since then. I think it's just about concentrating on on what we've been up to the last couple of weeks and really trying to push in a performance this week at home in front of the home crowd again. Well, from, uh, I know it was a long time ago, but from that match, what were the sort of main threats that you've identified? That... Uh, they've got a, they've got a lot of international players. They've got threats all over the board. So we're going to have to be play heads up rugby and see where they where all their big runners are coming from. And um, they haven't really got many weaknesses, so we're going to have to be really on top of our game. I, I think, sort of mathematically, you're not quite out of it, but I think, you know, realistically, it's going to be a tough ask, you know, Heineken Cup-wise. So, what's what's the kind of realistic aim now for the, for the rest of the competition? I think uh, we spoke about being an ambitious club over the last couple of months, and or, all the way back to pre-season. So, if we can push on that now and look to get two wins from the final two Heineken Cup games, and I think we'll go from there. We'll see what happens with the other results and. Um, maybe we'll be pushing for a place in the later stages of competition. Um, if you think back to, to last weekend and actually sort of further back, Exeter seems to be on the wrong end of quite a few TMO decisions. Um, I can see you're smiling. It's, uh, it's probably hard to smile sometimes when, when the decisions seem to keep going against you. There's also a bit of a wider debate at the minute about whether, you know, the way TMOs are being used, whether too much is going upstairs all the time. But as, as you know, someone that's at the sharp end of it, what's your, what's your take on it? Um, we've, we've, every, every, everyone's seen the, uh, the footage from last week and we, th we think that it was probably um, a bit of a harsh decision that we were on the end of but I think a lot of the time um, we want to go out there and we want to try and make it about us we don't want to make it about um, the TV officials or even the officials on the pitch we want to concentrate on what we're doing and hopefully if we do that and push our game on onto the opposition we can, get, we can make decisions come our way but do you feel like they've sort of been relied on a bit too much, that referees aren't just sort of taking responsibility for their decisions? Um, I don't know. I think in some cases you can, you can see that it's been uh, very useful and decisions, right decisions have been made. But again, sometimes uh, it's taken up quite a lot of game and disrupting the momentum of the game. I, I mean, those decisions have cost you. So it's, at the minute, I'm afraid to say it's seven defeats from eight games. Um, obviously, there's been a tough run of fixtures. but. What's the belief in the morale like, like in the squad at the minute? Um, that's something we don't really have a problem with. Um, we're all generally very happy um, camp within. Obviously, we'd have liked, liked the results to be a bit different over the last eight weeks. Um, there, there have been a few close calls, and there's probably a few things that we haven't pushed on games which have, would have probably turned one of the bonus point losses into, into a win. So we're not that far away, um, and hopefully over the next couple of weeks we can really push on and get the results from the performances that we've been putting in. Um, I think it's tomorrow the, uh, the England squad of the Six Nations and also the, the Saxon squad comes out. At, at the minute there's only two extra players in the Saxon squad. Is there hope here that there'll be sort of improvement on that? Um, I'd, I'd like to think for as a personal level. I think a lot of the young boys that have come up through have, have done really well. Uh, you've got obviously got Jack Noel in there already. Uh, um, he's obviously been pushing for promotion into the EPS. Um, and Slady and Dave have, have been playing well. I think we've got to look to the younger boys to, to step up now and really break into the, the England fold. And, excuse me, sorry. Oh, is there any update on Ivana Tui, who's carried off on a, on a stretcher? Uh, H's been in and around the club. He's uh, he's walking around. He's been laughing and joking. He's all right. He's all right.